What an atmosphere inside the Stro Center tonight for the Battle of I-75. Robin Freilich said this week that this is everything women's college basketball should be about. And the game tonight lived up to the hype. Toledo and Bowling Green first place on the line in the MAC. Both teams having a great season so far, and what a game it was. First quarter and a great start for Allison Day of the Falcons. She works her way inside the paint, spinning, fading away here. The transfer from Loyola Chicago making her presence known early, knocks it down for two. Later in the half, Rockets out in transition. Justina King leaving for Nan Garcia. She would let it go from behind the arc. She knocks it down. She was great in this one. Finished with 15 points in the game. And then later, Quinesha Lockett, a strong drive here to the basket, weaving her way through the Falcon defenders. She had a team high 27. It was back and forth first half between these two. And then the Falcon defense began to do what they've done all season. Jocelyn Tate with the steal on the other end. Heading the other way, gives it up and gives it right back. She had 13 points. BG was up three at the break. And in the second half, the Falcons would begin to put the pressure on Tate to Fleming. Lexi Fleming from the wing lets it fly, buries a three, BG's up 10, she had 11 off the bench. But the story of the game was Allison Day going to work in the post. Gets the basket here, plus the foul, finishes with a career high 31 points for the Falcons. BG wins game one of Battle of I-75, 88-76, they're four and one in the MAC. Well, you know, in the MAC, every night feels like a big game, but it would be um, remiss to think that this game doesn't have something extra with the rivalry and, you know, Toledo's had um, a lot of success last season and this season as well. Um, so when you can get a win against, a, you know, a, a signature win, I think it means a lot. Uh, but I also know we've got a game Saturday, and if you spend one second resting on what happened Wednesday, the Mac Mac's tough. So um, it was a big win for us, um, but we've got a lot of games left to play. It was really cool. Um, I think the team, my teammates did a great job like preparing me for what that feels like, the rivalry, what the show's going to feel like. And um, the show's great every, every game, but especially with Toledo here, um, it was just really cool to be a part of. And um, we talked before the game, just have fun and be us. And that was a really fun game to play. <laughs> What's got us where we are is, is taking care of the basketball. And we average about 12 turnovers a game. We had way too many today. Um, We've got to take better care of the basketball. I thought shot selection at times. Uh, we forced some shots that we could have done a better job. Um, and defensively, we've got to deny the ball a little bit better inside. I mean, there's, there's some key moments that, that if we'd have done those things and stayed disciplined defensively, not jumped out of our shoes on fakes, maybe it's a different outcome. But we didn't, and they took advantage of it.